She broke onto the scene with her Grammy-nominated hit, A Thousand Miles, in 2002. Oh, we didn't play the last part. It's my favorite part to sing in the car. All right, now after five studio albums, Vanessa Carlton is trying something a little different with the recent release of two live albums. So Vanessa, good news for us, is on the road right now for a North American tour, and she is with us in the Your Morning Studio today. Good morning to you. Good morning. I love seeing that video, you in the back of the, the truck. You must get asked about that all the time. Uh, not all the time anymore. It was a long time ago. God, yeah. That was 20, no, how many years not ago? Not 20 that years ago. That was 2001. 15 years ago. 15 years ago. I have to do the math in my head. I know, it's early. <laughs> I look at that, I'm like, who? I don't even know who that is. Really? You feel I kinda, that I kind of remember, yeah. Yeah, well, you've become a mother since then. You know, you won a Grammy. You're an incredible songwriter. And I want to talk most recently, you released not one, but two live albums, about four months apart, uh, Liberman Live and Earlier Things. Why mm -hmm. so close together? Well, they um, are both taken from the same performance. It was my last tour I was on. That we ended in Nashville, which is where I live now. And that night we recorded it. Um, I had released an album called Liberman, and that was the reason why I was touring then. And honestly, I think over time, it finally felt like I was ready vocally to release a live record. My voice has changed so much over time, and I worked so hard on it, mm -hmm. so I don't sound like Minnie Mouse. And um, and then what we did was, this is my manager's idea, because he's much smarter than I am. And he, he put all the songs that were not on the new record, all the earlier things, in their own little EP. So we're touring now, and we you know, are touring in support of those two live records. You described your voice as sounding like Mickey Mouse just then. I don't think it's ever <laughs> sounded that way, but I do You're notice... You're so young. Well, I do notice the maturity in your voice in that last clip that we ran from, yeah. your, from your live music. It's rich, it's beautiful. I think it reflects probably a lot of the changes that have happened in your life. It's changed a lot, yes, for sure. Uh, this album, Liberman Live, is actually named after your grandfather. Tell us how he inspired your work. Yeah. So my grandfather was a painter, as a hobby, really. He was a painter. and um, Oh, this is beautiful. That was the painting, yeah, that my grandmother sent to me. Um, that woman is not my grandmother. Maybe that's why she sent it to me. <laughs> it's huge. And when I was still living in New York, where it was hung, because this is my house in Nashville now, mm -hmm. it's basically all you can see when you're sitting at the piano. And I realized what I was doing when I started writing the music for this record is I was writing the music to the colors of the painting. Mm -hmm. It was like, if the painting could be a song, it was the album. I just fell in love with the kind of psychedelic palette of that painting. Beautiful. Is your, is your grandfather still around? Oh, no, he, he passed away a while ago. So. so it's like his spirit's kind of still infused in all of your music? You know, it was just more I wanted to honor that particular, well, his life as a painter, because he, he didn't really make it as a painter when he was alive. And Liberman is our family name, but I didn't know until a couple years ago, because he had changed his name from Liberman to Lee so that he could have a less ethnic name. He didn't even sign that painting wow. as um, Liberman. He signed it as Alan J. Lee. So I wanted to bring to light my family's real name as well. You know, we're, we're proud Jews from Queens via Eastern <laughs> Russia, you know, so like let's, you know, be honest about our, our name and heritage. And I love that. I love that story. You mentioned that that's hanging in your house in Nashville now. You lived in New York. You were a New Yorker for a long time. Uh, you are a songwriter by heart. Uh, how do you find the change of being in Nashville? This is a city that is just leave, lives and breathes music. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I when I'm in Nashville, I I've never like moving from New York City to Nashville is two completely different experiences. And I so wanted the yard, and it's the first time I've ever owned a car. And is this your yard? Oh yeah, that is. Where'd you find all these? <laughs> is Instagram. It from my Instagram. That's right. Um, and I think honestly, when I'm home, I'm just never. I don't go out much, and I get to just be like mom that has a house and be with my baby and my husband and. Yes, you're right. There is a huge network of really interesting artists 
going on in Nashville. I think it's a really an interesting place to be right now in particular. It's very vibrant. Uh, you mentioned uh, your husband. Well, I think we have a picture of the two of you together. We, we full on cyber stalked you and yes. got all the pictures <laughs> that we could. Uh, you know, you perform a song with your husband, John McCauley. He's the front man of the band Dear Tick. Yeah. Uh, do you often get to work on music together, either at home or professionally? Um, no. We just, we have very, I, I think someday we will probably, I mean, we're, we're married, so there's no way around, like, hanging out with each other and being part of each other's process in a way. Like, he writes and I write in the house, and it's interesting to be so close to somebody's process. I think... We haven't, I've, we did a duet that he wrote. It was his song, it kind of turned into a depth duet, but we've never technically like co-written a song with each other, you know, like. Do you think that might be in your future? I think maybe, I don't know, I used to ask him, we'll see what happens. It's <laughs> gonna be really organic, you know? You don't wanna force it. Yeah, you can't force it. Well, we are glad that you're here in our studio this morning. Thanks for Thank sharing you. some of the stories behind those great Instagram pics Thank with you. us and for continuing to share your music. It's a pleasure. Thank you. 